Marv K Stadium is just a transformational facility for us. The stadium itself, I think, is, uh, will be the class of uh, NCAA Division II. You know, I haven't seen, obviously, every D2 facility in the country, but if this one is in the top five, I'd be shocked. This is something that's been a long time coming, and, and uh, it's, it's been a Herculean effort. Many years in the making, along with $26 million in private funds, Colorado School of Mines has one of the most picturesque college football stadiums in America. And the driving spirit behind this renovation is a man whose name is nearly indistinguishable from the school itself, Marv K. When the initial donation came in to do this facility and it was announced that it would be named after Marv, that really helped us raise the rest of the money. Mines has a culture of giving that when, when, you, when you talk to people about, hey, we want to do this project or that project, they're on board. And Marv has a lot to do with that, no question. Marv K is Mines. You know, Marvin the Miner is named after him. Uh, he was born on campus. He was the athletic director. He was the football coach. He coached other sports. He taught history. Marv is Mines. It's just a tremendous feeling because uh, not many uh, uh, people in their lifetime have an opportunity to see something in its infancy and in its beginning and, and see it grow and progress. And I think it's uh, the story and the feeling is best told in the uh, students and alumni and athletes that uh, have come back uh, over the past couple of weeks, especially for our grand opening and remembering what it was uh, so many years ago, whether it was three years ago or 50 years ago. Since 1922, Colorado School of Mines football has called Brooks Field home. But at age 91, father time had taken its toll. On a scale of one to 10, we went from a one to a 10. Uh, you know, the old facility, you know, was one of the oldest in the country. So understandably, um, there was no amenities about it. It was not a very fun place to watch a game. There was, it wasn't very comfortable. It, was, uh, it really was falling apart, to be honest. Today, the transformation from 1922 to 2015 is stunning. A state-of-the-art facility with just about every conceivable amenity that big-time Division I programs have across the nation. It's just starting, starting to sink in because you know, the building just opened a couple months ago. So the feedback I'm getting is from our players. You know, our players are, you know, are really you know, benefiting from this. The training room is uh, you know, three whirlpool baths and good-sized locker room, you know, big lockers, you know, so they can you know, spread out down there. And uh, you know, we get kids coming around the building now just hanging out, which is kind of cool. You know, you, watching film or studying or, or, or whatever, the, you know, getting treatment, whatever they have to do, they you know, you see some, some kids around here a lot. This whole thing is a team effort and really reflects uh, what Minds is all about. Uh, you know, it's, it's a building designed specifically for our needs. It was funded by people involved in the school that saw those needs. Just seeing that facility and seeing what it brings to our, our school, it shows that this school is committed to being excellent um, athletically. And most kids come here, they know academically the school is committed to excellence. Now they know that we're committed to being excellent in everything we do here at campus.